All right, folks, uh, I just wanted to do a little beer 30 here and give you an update uh, on my cancer stuff that I got going. Uh, Y'all know I got it, and uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, I'm hoping that some of this stuff I'm going through is, is, is if you ever end up with this situation, that it help you in the future. So if you're not one of my subscribers, and this is your first time at my channel, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when I have another video out. I wanted to give everybody an update on what's going on. Uh, I have United, well, through through AARP, I have United Healthcare Advantage Plan, supposed to be the number one at uh, uh, Medicare Advantage plan in the nation. Well, my doctor, my oncologist wanted me to get this Octrio scan, and where they inject you with this, uh, the seat. Well, let me go back. The CT scan that we did showed I have a little small spot in the in the lower lobe of my right lung. And then I have a couple spots that are about an inch big in my liver. So they want to do this Octrio scan so they can see where this stuff in my back came from. Because it didn't originate there. So my doctor scheduled me for this Octrio scan. And this insurance turned it down. They said no, they wouldn't approve it. So, but they needed all these results from this other stuff. My MRI, my uh, CT scan, and all this stuff. Well, this started on the 2nd of November. And I spent probably myself three or four hours on the phone getting transferred from one place to another place to another place to another place. And never could figure out how you could appeal this or where to send the records to. Uh, the office manager of my oncologist, Dr. Wash, spent hours and hours and hours on the phone. Same thing, getting transferred from one place to another place to another place. Meanwhile, I get this cancer inside me, and it's and it's and it's uh, you know it's growing. You know. You know, and uh, and they don't really care, you know. Now, so finally, I spent phone. some time on the phone again. So the best value I is got to the back. right place, per second and I found out. For only I found out where this this place, you know, where to fax this stuff, and got with my office manager, my oncologist. And let her know we did a we did a conference call so that everything was cool, and she faxed 72 pages to him, and uh, and it's supposed to take 72 hours for them to or to get a results back to you. They had it approved in 48 hours. My my oncologist threatened to call a senator and start start raising hell with a senator but we finally got it approved so now uh, the earliest the hospital radiology can get me in to do this is uh, the first and second of October because it takes two days they inject you with this radioactive stuff I have to go and kill four hours somewhere and then I go back and they and they scan me then I have to be back exactly 24 hours later to get scanned again. So we finally got it approved, and from the results of this, it's going to tell if it's if it's if it's uh, gone to my lymph nodes, you know, if it's isolated, where it's at, so that we know how to treat it, you know, because what's growing in my back is a low-grade cancer. It's growing real slow. If that's all I had, I'd live to be a hundred before it ever affected me. But the other stuff in my body is what we're worried about and how to treat it. 
I hope I don't have to do chemotherapy because that is some nasty stuff. I've, I've checked all the side effects on that. You get sores in your mouth. You get sores in your throat. You can't swallow. You're exhausted. And, and uh, it doesn't sound like any fun. But if it would kill this stuff that's in me, and I get some more years out of me, and I, Deborah Dickinson has already said she's going to do her, her KOKO meetup for 2022 at the City of Rock State Park, New Mexico. So next year she's just going to try to do it a, a little earlier. So it's before the time change, so it stays light a little longer. But uh, I'm going to be there if I can be. I had the best time over there that you can imagine. She let me come over just for one day because I had to cancel my reservation. She let me come over for one day, and I, I got to spend some time and meet everybody. But I just wanted to give you a little heads up on what's going on with my cancer treatment. Any of y'all that it gets hit with this and going to have to go through it, these are the things you're going to have to put up with. And... You can cry about it, you can yell and scream and get mad, but it won't do no good. You just have to keep a positive attitude and know that it's going to work out. And uh, so with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you uh, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. If they do, pick up a shoe and beat them till they're black and blue. And I'll catch you on the flip-flop.